Hi, I'm Katie Blackman, and I'm here today to talk to you about the four major types of stakeholders listed within Johnson & Johnson's Credo and why I believe they're listed within that order. First of all, the four different types of stakeholders that are listed are a type of stakeholder called primary stakeholders. Primary sta stakeholders are individuals or groups who benefit directly from the well-doing of Johnson & Johnson. That can be found on pages 80 to 82 within our textbook. The four different types of stakeholders that I found were the customers, the suppliers, the employees, and the community. First of all, customers are very important to a company because they are the people who go out and buy the certain supplies or products that Johnson & Johnson makes. So they are very important and anyone in the service industry will tell you that the customer is always number one, which is why I believe they're listed number one. Uh, the second stakeholder that I found were the suppliers. Suppliers are important to a company because they provide the certain supplies that are needed in order to make the products. Third, the third type of stakeholder that I found were the employees. Without employees, the, all the legwork wouldn't be happening. There wouldn't be anybody on the floor making the product. There wouldn't be anybody coming up with the innovative um, designs or technologies that are important to Johnson & Johnson's surgical products. Excuse me. And additionally, Employees are important because once an employee has worked for a certain amount of time, they are offered a benefits package, which also offers them stock within the company. So not only are they receiving pay and benefits, they are also offered stock within the company, which in turn lets them invest into the company and receive a little bit more of those proceeds. And last but not least, the final stakeholder that I found was the community. Um, without the community, there would be no customers, there would be no suppliers, and there would be no employees. It's very important for Johnson & Johnson to maintain a long-lasting relationship with all of these groups, all of these stakeholders, the, the customer, the supplier, and the employees. And if they don't, then they lose out on a lot, which is why it's important to maintain a relationship. Thank you for your time.